As winter melts away, the outdoors are filled with sounds from our avian friends. In Iowa's northeast corner, there's an effort underway to expand the population of a unique game bird, one that beats its wings to a different drum. On a crisp April morning, not far from the small northeast Iowa town of Highlandville, a rare sight is emerging from its winter slumber. A small game bird known as the ruffed grouse begins his springtime ritual. Watching a ruffed grouse go onto a log in a, in a type of a structure that he's protected from predators and to display his ruffs from his neck and also to fan tail, but also then to pop his wings back and forth into the drumming fashion is incredible to witness or to hear from a distance. Using a log as a soapbox, the ruffed grouse inflates his feathery coat to impress a potential mate. His high altitude perch also provides an ideal lookout for potential predators. But this ideal mating habitat is dwindling, and Iowa DNR researchers are taking note. In the 1980s and 1990s, the Iowa Department of Natural Resources Wildlife Bureau started recognizing that our forests were actually changing quite drastically. So in 2005, we developed what's called forest wildlife stewardship plans, long-term plans with uh, looking at uh, inventory of what we have for forest resources, trees and shrubs, developing objectives uh, for that particular area, and then writing prescriptions for forest management for the uh, needed habitats for wildlife. Wildlife management area inventories revealed that in the 1970s and 1980s, young forest habitats for rough grouse and other birds measured 25 to 45 percent. In 2010, only 1 to 3 percent of this young forest habitat was available after maturing forests caused decline of not only the rough grouse, but the American woodcock, eastern towhee, yellow-billed cuckoo, and blue and yellow-winged warblers. To increase bird habitat, an effort is underway to expand and create new young forests. For rough grouse, a critical step is cutting down mature aspen trees. To create early successional habitat, you can cut adult or mature aspen trees and actually sprout lots of other new stems and new seedlings from the root systems. Hundreds of aspen seedlings will grow up and uh, create the necessary habitat for wildlife species that, that need to have a young forest. Other trees needed for ideal habitats include red cedars, young oak, hazelnut, dogwood, and plum. Shrubs provide not only shelter from predators, but also a food source in the berries they produce. The Wildlife Bureau's plan would not be possible without the help of private landowners. A cost share program was developed to help encourage private owners to build habitat for rough grouse on their property, and in turn, help bring the population back. Uh, it's a matter of getting some of those uh, mature woodlands cleared out of logging and getting some second growth uh, 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 trees on those properties if we're going to have bring grouse habitat back. These plans for young forests and the subsequent newly created wildlife habitat are a plan that stretches far into the future, ensuring that forests with a diversity of tree and shrub species will lead to wildlife being better served. It's uh, great that the DNR is uh, educating the public to know about this and to keep this bird as a, as a primary part of our wildlife in this part of the state and adapting habitat so that it can continue to be part of uh, Iowa's heritage.